Hi guys, welcome back to Quack. Today we are going to be talking about duck breeds and what they are good for. So we're actually gonna take a field trip outside and I'm going to show you the duck breeds that I have, explain a little bit about them, um, how, much, how many eggs they produce per year, uh, what they're primarily used for, and yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, so these are two of my Peking ducks. Peking ducks are mostly almost 100% bred for meat. They originally came from China. That's where they were domestically bred originally. But uh, if you're interested in using them for egg production, they will produce about 150 eggs per year. Fun fact, Pekings are actually the most friendly breed. They will probably be the first to become friendly when you are trying to make your ducks friendly. They will also probably be the first to eat out of your hand when you put food in front of them. So yeah, definitely, definitely friendly little things. All right, so these are four of my Indian runner ducks. There are four different types of Indian runners, although I don't have all of them. There are the chocolate runners, which that's what Miss Coco here is. There are fawn and white runners, which is what Miss Charlotte right here is. There are blue runners, which Oliver technically is not a blue runner, but he could pass as one. And there's black runners, which I don't have. Pistachio, this one on the end is a little bit of an anomaly. I don't actually know what kind of runner she is. I don't know if there is a specific breed name for her. Um, but runners are used for entertainment and eggs. Uh, they look really funny when they walk around. I'll put them down at the end of the video so you can watch them run away, but they walk very upright and they look kind of like little bowling pins or penguins. So they're entertaining to watch and they will give you about 180 eggs per year. <laughs> All right, so these are my two blue Swedish ducks, Goose and Blueberry. Uh, these ducks are mostly used for ornamentation as well as eggs. They make good show ducks. They're very pretty, as you can see. Goose has a very nice little, they're called bibs underneath right here, where all of his white is blueberry. He doesn't have it as much. So Goose is definitely the liquor of the two, but um, they will give you between 130 and 180 eggs per year. All right, so these are two of my khaki Campbell ducks. This is Snoopy and this is Kiwi. Um, these ducks are prolific egg layers. These guys will give you about 340 eggs a year, or so almost one every single day. The only downside of these guys is that the females are very loud. <laughs> obviously. In some instances, khaki Campbell ducks can actually fly just like mallards because of their small size. Mr. Kiwi here unfortunately has little man syndrome. He thinks he's the big guy around here, but he's actually the smallest. So he often picks fights with the other males that he will never win, but we, we love him anyway. All right, these are my two white crested ducks, Merlin and Daisy. As you can see, Merlin's crest is quite a bit more pronounced than Miss Daisy's. Miss Daisy probably had a watered down bloodline that gave her her little baby crest, but Merlin definitely has a full, full crest. All right, these guys are known for their rapid growth, which is really great for meat production, and they will lay between 100 and 130 eggs per year. Miss Daisy here was actually a rescue from a local pond. We came across her when we went to feed the ducks uh, probably a couple of months ago. As you can see, she has a broken wing, which is very unfortunate. It'll probably never heal, but she is thriving here. She's very happy, and she has probably the bluest eyes that I have ever seen on a peeking looking duck before. All right, so these are two of my Rowans, Miss Bear and Miss Maple. Um, I don't have any males yet, <laughs> so um, I can't really juxtapose the, the two uh, genders. However, these two, there are actually two different types of Rowans. There is an exhibition Rowan, which is used for showing mainly and not anything else. And then there's the production Rowan, which is used for meat and eggs. So you can tell that Bear here is a little bit bigger than Maple, and that is because Bear is actually an exhibition Rowan and Maple is a production Rowan. So Bear will only lay between 23 and 125 eggs, while Maple will lay between 140 and 180. All right, so these are my two Cayuga females, <laughs> Peanut and Celeste. I do have two males, however, for the purposes of this video, I thought it would be better to have my two females because I wanted to discuss the coloring. As you can see, Peanut is completely black. She has no white on her, while Celeste has a white bib, kind of like Goose, my blue Swedish duck. So 
Celeste is likely <laughs> older than Peanut because with Cayugas, as they get older, they actually start to get more white feathering. And that's how you can kind of tell. You can't tell their exact age, but you can tell they're a little older, a little younger. For some reason, my two boys both have white on their chests, even though they were born in the middle of last year. So that's always been kind of an enigma. But Peanut here seems to be following the rules of her breed. She is so completely black and she is under a year old. All right, so this is Mouse. She's my little mallard. Um, as you can see, she has some little cuts around her head. That's because she has been picked as a favor by the males. Uh, because it's mating season, I will do another video about overmating, um, preventative measures, treatments, etc. So I'll talk about that in another video. Um, mallards, they don't have much domestic use. They can be used for meat, but obviously she's very small, so she wouldn't produce a ton of meat. So they're mostly used for entertainment. Um, however, it is not inhumane to own domestic mallards. They have the same low chance of survival in the wild that other domestic ducks do because they weren't born wild. So they don't have the foraging skills. They don't have the instincts. They were bred domestically. When it comes to egg production, mallards are actually right up there with khaki campbells. They lay eggs almost every day per year. Um, so between 340 and 350 eggs per year. The coolest part about Mallards is even though this one's domestic, she does not have her wings clipped so she can actually fly. So I'm going to release her and you can see her fly. Come on, Mouse. All right, this is Socrates. He is my male magpie duck. Uh, magpie ducks are really cool because they often help farmers um, because they really like to eat weird bugs like slugs, snails, and actually parasitic worms that actually that harm livestock. So this guy will go out there with the cows or whatever and they'll go around the ground finding these parasitic worms and eating them and therefore saving the cattle from very uncomfortable indigestion. Um, these guys, the females, will lay between 220 and 290 eggs per year and their meat is actually considered gourmet quality. All right, so this is Bunny and this is Goldie, and my challenge to you guys down in the comments is to let me know what kind of breed you think these two are, uh, because I have absolutely no idea. I rescued both of them, and for the life of me, I can't figure out what breed they are. I don't know if they're mixes or if it's just super obvious and I'm not seeing it online, um, but I call them fraternal twins because their body type and bill and eye color is exactly the same. It's just their feather coloring that's a lot different. So if anybody has any idea what these two ladies could be, please comment down below and let me know. Okay, so these are the babies of the flock. This is Puddles and Buttercup. And quiz time, comment down below and let me know what breed these guys are. I will give you a hint since they could be one of two. These ones do not have their back toe clipped. So let me know which one you think it is. All right, so these guys are about four weeks old. And as you can see on their backs, they're starting to get their little adult feathers right where their wings are. That's where it starts. And then they'll start to kind of get it all over the place. And as they, as they grow, you won't actually know what the gender is um, for males or females of this breed until they're a lot older because the males will kind of grow up looking exactly like the females and then one day they'll just shed their adult feathers and look like a male. That's what happened with my male khaki. I thought he was a girl for the longest time and then one day he had all of his adult feathers that made him look like a female fell out and he came out looking like a beautiful male. So that's how it works with these guys. All right, so what did you guys think? Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if there are any other breeds that you want me to talk about that weren't pictured today. And I will absolutely answer as many questions as you want about different kinds of breeds other than the ones I have because I know I definitely don't have every breed as much as I would love to. And if there are other breeds you have questions about, I will do my research and I will answer as best I can. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Uh -huh.